previously on the Daily Grind. Chapter is turning out to be huge. The only problem is that um, that this is my problem. Um, this is an Xbox 360 wireless steering wheel. There we go. That is the mythical Jeff. <laughs> the following events took place on December 6, 2006. Due to partial nudity and extreme language, Viewer discretion is advised. I get a lot of questions from members asking, how do we spend our weekends? Well, generally we spend our weekends working, as you guys probably already know. But from time to time, of course, we do try to take a break. And this past weekend, we did just that. On Sunday, we decided we were going to take the jet skis out and see if we could get a little island hopping in. And it turned out to be a lot of fun. Now, we recorded the footage and thought I'd share it with you guys out there. Let's take a look. Yeah... Yeah, I mean, I love that look. It's, I want to wear that out in public every day. It's like, where's Waldo? But where's Waldo for prison? Yeah, gee. So we got all the tools because we're about to have to do a uh, battery change. Yes, and I have to operate on your jet ski. It's nighttime. And the, uh, there, there's my ski. It's freezing cold. And, of course, Zach's got to be as cool as humanly possible, so he's got the Sam Fisher look going on. Look, I needed both hands and somebody to hold a flashlight <laughs> on what I'm looking at. So I strapped the thing to my head. So what? Yeah, he had such a pain getting that thing in. So I love... Oh, uh, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great look right there. It's pretty funny. Yeah, see, I love my skin. Oh, God. this Here we are. This is where we're getting ready to actually go out in the water. We look so ridiculous. Yeah, this is pretty funny, actually. It is about, what, 50 degrees? No, it's in the 40s. It was like yeah. 45 degrees. Yeah, but I mean, it's cold on the water. You're right. getting splashed with cold water all the time. Yeah. Got to remember to bring the wheel up before we drive off. Yeah, that was going to suck. That was pretty stupid. You're just cranking the hell out of that thing, too. Ready to go, man. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so here we are on our way down to the boat ramps. With a very handsome chauffeur. <laughs> yeah. It, it turned out to be a great day to do this. It was just... Uh, nice and bright. It was a bit cold, but seeing how we were dressed up, so... Um, we were dressed like we are on an Arctic skirmish. Yeah, there wasn't bad. Yeah. Logan was checking the plugs. Ridiculous. I almost backed it into the water without putting the plugs in. Sunk the jet skis, eh, Logan? <laughs> Been great. So yeah, basically getting everything ready, and then we're taking them down. In just a second, you're going to see this pelican that hangs out down there at the uh, docks. Yeah, the one-winged pelican of doom. He is mean. You'll see. He's uh, giving Logan some hell here in just a second. Yeah, he's got this old salty. You know, like you'd think if he was a pirate, he really would have one leg. Well, there he is. But well, well, I think Terry named him Petey, or was that you? Is it Petey? Yeah. yeah. What you be doing in me, Doc? Yeah, Petey doesn't look too. Look at that. He's just staring Logan down. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> you can almost hear him saying You got that. a problem? Get off that jet ski. Let's come talk about it. Come on. He's giving him the one eye now. <laughs> I can take you. All right. Here goes uh, Zach mounting Logan. Yes. I'm I'm Logan's jet ski. Creep is. in behind Logan here. Wrap my arms around his waist and poke him in the back. Awfully quiet, Logan. You just kind of remembering this day? Yeah, it was a good day. It was. The iPod. Oh, I brought my iPod. I'm putting it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, it's going over off in the corners of the circles. <laughs> oh, come on. That's fun. <laughs> so, yeah, from here we're going to head on down to the river. Yes, yeah, which kind of cuts through the middle of Dolphin Island. And this is the river. This yeah. is how big it is. So Dolphin Island got cut in half after Hurricane Katrina. And this is the <clears throat> quote-unquote river that separates the two. We actually walked down to this in the middle of the night one night. And we couldn't see the other side, and we joked about walking across. Yeah, because, I mean, on, on Google Earth, it's only, like, what, 100 yards? Yeah. yeah. Boy, is Google Earth off these days. Yeah. Of course, Zach had to get a oil rig just because they're cool. Yeah, for the max class. Now, this is the very tip end of Dolphin Island, as we're getting ready to head out to Pettibow Island. Filming a Hitchcock movie here. Lots of pelicans and seagulls around. You can see where the waves are colliding from the two sides. Now, look how rough the seas are. Look at that. Yeah, that gives you no idea, though. No, not at all. Once you actually get out there, they were what? 
five, six foot. Oh, yeah, there's swells. You could lose your entire jet ski. All those trees you saw, that was Petty Bow Island, which yep. now we are at Petty Bow We've Island. teleported. But, yeah, it was pretty interesting going across the uh, the way to get to this island. We uh, we actually got separated. Yes, we did. Uh, I thought you drowned, and you thought we drowned. And uh, we spent some time hunting for each other with the swells being so big. I was we trying actually, to figure out what I was going to tell Angie. Yeah, and I was trying to just figure out where the hell you guys were at. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we, as you can see, we did make it over to Pettibow Island, and there's the little lake and yeah. the little forest it had. And from there, we, we pretty much just headed on back. It was an awesome day. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was more or less a quick jaunt. When we went over here and looked at the little lake. Over which, 60 miles. Yeah. Wow. I was surprised that no alligator came out of it. All right, yeah, guys, the room has become a bit of a mess, and it is time to get a clean electric blanket. Save your life when it's 32 degrees outside. This week is uh, it's an important week for us. We uh, have a few things we need to get knocked out. First thing is Zach's, uh, Zach's chapter. He's been working on it for almost three weeks now. It's an introduction to materials. And I know that's a, I mean, it's a big chapter. It's fantastic. I've seen some of the stuff. You guys have seen some of the stuff. And uh, it's just, it's taking a little bit longer than it needs to take. So today he should get that turned in, I hope. I pray, and then get him moved on over to the uh, geometry uh, chapter. Uh, see, outside of that, I'm still working on the X and A stuff, working with Logan. Hopefully, we can get a new developer's corner up this week, and we'll get the four hour one going up, and we'll also uh, get DTM number eight for the Delphi series recorded. Uh, Terry's doing, uh, you guys know what Terry's doing. And then, um, what is it? The uh, Jeff, yeah, that's the guy. He's working on uh, Lava from Upstairs. So, that's pretty much what's going on. It's just time for me to get things cleaned up a little bit because it's a little bit too messy around here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's finally done. It's been a, a long and painful process, but through dedication and discipline I have persevered. I have finished the Intro to Materials chapter, 125 pages of absolute material creation theory with Unreal Engine 3. So from here, I get to move on and start working on the uh, the geometry chapter, which hopefully will go just a little bit faster. But I'm so jazzed that this is done. Yeah. Wow, nice room. You got it all cleaned up? Yeah, thanks. It's uh, it's a lot better than it was only getting three foot deep in the crop. Yeah. How's it going? Well, I have for you 125 pages of fury over uh, the sure. intro materials chapter. God. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. You feel it, right? 120 pages of pictures? 125 with pictures. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So, um, so it's completely done. There's nothing you want to go back, add to it, or... Uh, I'm, gonna, sure, I'm sure it's going to need a read-through. I'm going to... But, yeah, well, like on today, once I finish what I'm doing now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little bit of time and go through all the tutorials make sure they flow right. Cool. So the next thing you're going to do is get on to the... Um, the geometry chapter. Our geometry yeah. chapter. Good. I'd like to have... Yes, I know this could be tough. Yeah. I'd like to have that done before the week's over. Okay. Um, I know this could be a little challenging. I'm a little concerned, though, because this one took, what, two, three weeks? I mean, it, it took a while. Um, I know there's a lot here. I, I totally understand. I'm just, I, I want to make sure nothing gets in the way. Like what? Gaming. I bust my ass around here. I'm working usually seven days a week, 12 to 14 hour shifts every single day typing like a fiend to get this book done. So maybe at night before I go to bed, I gotta unwind with a little bit of Xbox time. It's just disappointing to find out that Jason thinks that's all I do. No matter how hard I work, if I don't get it done as fast as I possibly can or faster, suddenly I'm gaming all the time. Here's my concern. However many chapters we got, like 20 times three weeks, it's gonna take a lot of time. Look, this is a big chapter. I understand. Okay, so. I got this. I'll get on this today. So you're gonna you're gonna get on the geometry one, and we'll try to have it done by Friday. Sure. Okay. Fantastic. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah. How's it going, Logan? Um, uh, it's, it's going all right. Um, I'm just trying to work out some transparencies. Uh, back in my previous engine, I could keep, do color keying, and here I have to have alphas to make all this work. Um, but getting alphas, you, you'd think that'd be simple. I mean, it's from the XNA stuff or the XNA side, it's fine. I've got um, alphas working fine. The problem is making an alpha. Um, unbeknownst to me in the past, I don't know how many years, it's become insane to make alphas in these programs. Photoshop, any, anything. Um, 
I, I, it doesn't make sense. They have everything for color is fine. You can paint in color. You can't paint in alpha as, as, as per se. I mean, it's, oh, you can have lots of alphas. You can have masks, you can have alphas, but I, I just need one. Because uh, at 32 bits, you know, you have that one extra 8-bit image, and that's the alpha. But oh, no, 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 you can't, you can't paint on that. Now, see, I, I just don't get it. I mean, you have all these professional tools, and they have what, what I almost consider too many features for doing certain applications. I mean, it's almost like your good classic image editors don't exist anymore. I can remember icon editors where you could literally just paint transparency. That was one additional color. It was that simple. You would just, just do it, more or less. And modern programs have just gotten insane. It's somewhere along the way, someone thought that, hey, we can have infinite number of alphas. But in doing so, they lost the ability to simply have one. If you want to have one alpha, you still have to go through the same number of steps as if you wanted 100. And I, I just don't understand it. It's, it's um, just a misdirection, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah I need you to do me a favor. Um, I finally got the, uh, the intro chapter from Seth. Okay. And it's, um, it's uh, taken them a lot longer. Than what I wanted to, to, you know, obviously happen to begin with, because we got to get out of here as quickly as possible. Right. I'm afraid that during the day he's spending a bit of his time, maybe doing a little gaming or something. Can you, uh, can you do me a favor? You know, you've now got permission to go around the house anywhere and grab footage all throughout the day. Now. Right. Can you uh, keep an eye on him? Can you? His door's been closed a lot lately. I don't know if you've noticed that over the last couple of weeks. I, mean, I try not to go in people's rooms with the doors closed and stuff. I know, but you've got permission to go in any place when right. you need to. So what I'd like for you to do is just not really knock, just kind of intrude because you're capturing footage. Pretty much want me to spy on it, is what you're saying. You know, Jason does have a point because uh, Zach and my room are on the south side of the house, which is the hottest part of the house in the daytime. It's 90 degrees at least in our room when we wake up. And... The door open keeps a nice, cool 80 degrees, but the rest of the house is, you know, 40 degrees. Also. So if the heat's on, your door's closed, you're up to something. So it kind of gets me wondering, what is Zach doing in there? This will be interesting. Going to go check him out, but uh, God knows. Okay, I could do that. Okay. If you want to. And if you, if anything... Yeah, it's like, he's, I mean, if he gets mad at me... You know, no, I'll, I'll, you know, you just point him to me. But if, okay. if, you, if you see him doing anything out of the ordinary, mm -hmm. let me know. Okay, all right, we'll do Thanks, man. Yeah, okay, I've asked Terry to basically keep an eye on Zach. I mean, I know some people disagree with the whole spying thing, but we do need to get out of here as soon as possible. We need to get these books done. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. And uh, it's, it's the best thing for us to do. Find out what's going on, fix the problem, move on. Yeah, what have I been up to lately? Well, still working on the XNA stuff. There's a lot of things going on around the house. Finally got the uh, the level engine running the way I want it to work, the dry engine as well. As a matter of fact, we take a real quick look. Just go ahead and run it and grab my controller. Uh, ignore the cheesy uh, character and, well, you guys get the idea. But I have a little player that runs around now and the, the map is going to scroll accordingly. So if, I, if I'm basically at the edge of the map, you'll notice that the map's not going to scroll anymore, right? And then once I get to the center, you'll notice how it picks up and begins scrolling. There we go. And same thing works in going upwards, except we just don't get to the edge here because we have object tiles that now are true objects and they realize when somebody smacks into them. So, pink, and right now I just have the color changing as to which tile I just ran into. And four seconds later, that tile will make itself color change back. So these tiles are now fully aware, which is really cool. This allows me to do neat things like, uh, you know, blow walls up, um, have teleporter so that you go from one location to another. Walls can give damage. I mean, pretty much anything can happen. Oh, yeah, and I also added in a hold the trigger down, you can run. So, oh, yeah, and just as a, a little test in regards to having objects aware of something hitting them and something else happening, my little door right there, if you look real close, you can see a door texture, but when I run into it, watch the door go away. It just becomes black. Pink. So now it becomes black. So still got a long ways to go, but the engine's now working exactly the way I want it to. And now what I'm doing is just populating the tiles with a little bit of uh, intelligence, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully later on today, I'll start on a level editor. All right, here it goes. Huh. It's not in here. No, it's in the 
back. All right, he's been in there way too long. All right, let's go check this out. All right. He's going to be so pissed. Excuse me, but hey, what the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? I like the idea of this show as much as anybody, but barging in on someone wearing the bathroom, that's fucked up. I mean, besides, all I'm doing is reading a men's magazine. It's not like they don't read. Nothing wrong with this. Oh, yeah. You did what? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I was, uh, that was pretty disturbing. Um, barging in on a man like that, that's, that's not right. It was very disturbing to me, and I'm pretty sure I'll need therapy in the near future. But, uh, I did find something out, though. It's not gaming. I don't think that's gaming that it's bothering him right now. I mean, you guys saw what he's looking at, right? Okay, thanks for coming. Here's the deal. I'm um, not sure that we need to barge in every place in the house when um, we're keeping an eye on Zach. You told me to go after him. I did. I I was looking for playing video games, not... Um, I, you sure it was one of those magazines? Yeah, he... That was... Yeah, he had a magazine and I was... I mean, there was a magazine for... Well, I didn't look, uh, to be quite honest, and I'm not reviewing the tape, <laughs> because that was pretty disturbing. Okay, I, have a, I have another idea, though. Here's okay. All right, so no more barging in, because right now he is completely okay. freaked out. And he, uh, right. he complained about it. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Here's a better idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call him out, and uh, I'm going to ask him to go to the store for me. I'm going to a little bit of money and have him go get me some beef jerky or something. All right. right. While he's gone, take that small Canon camera, take it in his room, and on the bookshelf in the back, you can set it up there and get a clear shot. Of you want me to set up a hidden camera? Yeah, come on, come on. Because this is the best way to catch what he's doing throughout the day. Yeah, but does this, like, violate, like, a right or something? Nah, screw it. <laughs> okay. So just, so just point it at the monitors, make sure you've got it to do pretty good. We can see what he's doing. Simple as that. So once you get it set up and I'll make sure it works, then uh, we'll just go and wait for him to come back. When he comes back, he'll go back in there, mm -hmm. start it, leave out, and it's about, what, an hour and a half? It's an hour and a half videos or uh, tape. So we'll catch right. an hour and a half of him doing whatever he's doing, and we can just review that. I'll call him back out of the room and grab the tape. Okay. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. It's, it's a good plan. It's a good plan. And I'll, I'll do let it. Me, let me go. Let yeah. me go. Don't worry about it. Let me go get him, and I will uh, I'll have him do the same. Okay. Well, got the camera set up, and... Uh, it's ready to go, so uh, we'll get some footage from that, and uh, phew, God only knows what Zach does behind those doors. But I don't know how I feel about this whole spying thing. It's kind of um, kind of odd, but it does have its perks, I'll give it that. And, you know, the other thing, it's, oh, good gracious, Jeff was right. Greetings. All go well? Yeah, I have beef jerky. All right, good deal. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Island, nice and quiet. Yeah. 